Thank you for purchasing the Guterman Aquascope 550. This video will introduce all of the parts included in the complete kit, guide you through kit assembly, and cover amplifier operation. In your kit, you will find the 550 amplifier and two C batteries, the hand probe and magnetic attachment, tri-foot hand probe attachment, three-part listening stick, the ground microphone foot and T-handle, six to four pin cable, a pair of Tefl headphones, and USB thumb drive with product manual installed. To assemble the ground microphone, first unscrew the battery cap on the amplifier and insert the batteries as shown and according to the instructions on the battery cap. For direct listening on valves, or to use as a sounding stick, attach together the three-part listening rod and thread the rod into the base of the hand probe. For listening on hard surfaces like pavement, Attach the tri-foot to the hand probe using the magnetic attachment. To greatly reduce background noise, assemble the ground microphone foot attachment by threading the T-handle into the base. Attach the four-pin end of the cable into either the hand probe or T-handle. Make sure to align the notches on both the cable and the probe or T-handle. When properly aligned, the cable will insert easily and you should hear a small click. Pliers or a wrench are not necessary for a tight connection. Next, insert the six pin end of the cable into the corresponding outlet on the 550 amplifier. Just like the four pin connection, make sure to align the notches and not over tighten. When assembly is complete, connect the Tefl headphones to the amplifier as shown. Power on the amplifier by rotating the top dial to the right one notch. Adjust the contrast of the screen by turning the bottom dial to the left or right. For low light listening, click the bottom dial once to turn on the screen backlight. Navigate to the rest of the filter settings by rotating the top dial. Click the bottom dial once to begin listening and again to stop. Using minimum level profiling, the most consistent noise is recorded and given a numeric value. As many as eight recordings can be stored and will be immediately visible on the screen, from newest to oldest, to help you hone in on the noise. Erase all recordings by pressing and holding the bottom dial. Navigate to the rest of the filter settings by rotating the top dial until you hear the best sound. Access the manual filter mode by rotating the top dial all the way to the right. On this screen, you can manually set the lowest and highest frequency of captured sound, as well as use frequency shifting to boost an audible low-frequency noise, such as noise created by leaks on plastic pipe, into the range for human hearing. To select different settings on the manual filter screen, use the bottom dial. Double-click and hold, then rotate while holding. This will navigate between lowest frequency, highest frequency, and frequency shifting mode. Highlight, then release and rotate to adjust each setting. Repeat to adjust other settings until the sound is clearest. There are four frequency shifting scales to choose from, so pick the scale that provides the best sound. When finished adjusting your setting preferences, click the bottom dial once. You are now ready to pinpoint. Thank you for watching.